Hello everyone. So talking to a few of the teachers in school about the fantastic new watercolour palette that you've all been given for you to do your painting at home, I suddenly realised that some of you might be a bit disappointed when you open it up if you don't use it properly. So we thought we'd go through a few of the rules about using a watercolour palette like this because it's really going to help you get the most out of your painting. Okay, so when you open it up, it'll look like this. Okay, sometimes if your brush is small enough, it'll go in there. But a lot of you've got brushes that are a bit longer, but that doesn't really matter. Okay, this side you can use for mixing your paint. All right, okay. So you've got all these colours here in a range from, yeah. And what you want to do with watercolour palettes like this is make sure that you keep the colours clean. And what I mean by that is when you're mixing colours, don't mix them on, on the actual pen. Let me show you, okay? So, you need water for a watercolour palette, okay? So you put your brush in the water, and the water's nice and clean. And I'm going to use red, okay? And if I want a dark colour, you actually need to get quite a lot of paint on your brush, okay? If you want to get a little paint, bit of water, um, paint on your brush, you're not going to like the colour that you put on the paper. See, look, it can be quite dark, just like that. Or if you want a little bit of very watery, then use a lot of water and a tiny bit of paint, and then you can have it like that. Yeah. So the more paint you put on the brush, round and round and round like that, the darker the colour is when you put it on the paper, okay? Yeah, and I don't want you all to end up with paintings that look like that because you're going to be disappointed, yeah? Okay, if you want to mix your colours, don't mix your colours together in the palette. Let me show you what to do. If you want orange... You need some red first, and you put it here. And then, if I'm going to make orange, I need some yellow to go with the red. But I can't put the red brush on the yellow paint, because it's going to make it dirty. So, I wash my brush so there's no paint on it. And then I put it on the yellow. You see, my brush is clean. Yeah. And I've got enough yellow and I'm going to mix it together on my palette. Okay, I've got to clean I think I want some more yellow on that. So I'm gonna you get some more. Look, my brush is clean every time. Yeah, I like that colour, so I'm going to use that. Oh, I need a little bit more water. It's a bit dry. Mm. The nice thing about watercolour is if you want to shade it on the paper, then all you do is get some clean water, get a tiny bit. You can blend it in like that, look. That looks good. See, that's good for doing things like sky, but you would need blue for that one, unless it was a sunset. Okay, so, do you see, that's the most important thing. You must wash your brush every time. So if you mix it together, so if you mix orange and yellow in there, and then you get black, you're going to end up with loads of brown on your palette, okay, which you are not going to like, right? Okay, the same with the... Blue. Look, if I want green, a different sort of green to that, get my blue, get quite a lot of paint on there, put it on my palette, wash it, then I need yellow again. I've really got to make sure the brush is cream now. Okay. There you go, see, there's no blue water, there's a little bit, but I can wash that off. Okay. 
And what the other thing to do is keep your water clean, so just keep changing it, all right? So now when I finish this video, I'm going to go away and change that water because it's got too much blue in it now. There you go, look. There's a lovely shade of green. Okay. There you go. So the main thing to remember is lots of paint on the brush and don't mix your colours on the palette. And then your fantastic watercolour set will last you for, this is, there's a lot of paint there, so it'll last you quite a lot, but probably a year or more. Right, one more thing. If you're going to use your brush for glue, don't, don't make sure that you clean your brush, right? Because if you don't, the glue will go hard on your brush and it will be ruined. And we're not giving you another one. Okay, right? So, right now I'm going to get a piece before I stop and put my top on the paint. We'll get a piece of wet tissue. Just wipe it clean so that when I come to paint again, I don't have a big mess on here that's going to mix up my colours and keep them not clean. There we go. And you need to keep this on there because otherwise the paint dries out. Super. Well done. Great. Thanks for watching, everyone.